Hey there guys, so today I'm going to give my opinions on Drake's new album that just came out, Certified Lover Boy. This has been a very highly anticipated album, firstly because Drake's not dropped in a while and this album was rumoured to be dropped for a long time now. I've heard January this year, I've heard earlier before that and also it's a lot of songs to digest for Drake. So you've got 21 tunes on the whole album altogether and an hour and 26 minutes worth of tracks. He starts the album off really well with the opening track, Champagne Poetry. It's a very simple, low-key piano beat. It doesn't really overpower his words and the words that he uses and the lyrics that he uses in this tune is very powerful, very, very meaningful. He talks about a lot of stuff from the pressures of being a celebrity, just what's really going on in Drake's mind. And this is a great intro track for the album. This then transitions into a great second track, Pappy's Home, where he talks a lot about being very braggy, like he's back, he's announcing himself back, like he's the king, and it's a really enjoyable track to listen to. You see this side of Drake, a lot of bragging talk, a lot of classic rapper sort of talk, cars, money, girls, and the life of being a celebrity, and all the perks of being a celebrity. But whilst we see this on this, like this bragging side of Drake, in tunes like uh, Way Too Sexy with Future and Young Thug, great tune, very fun tune, and also uh, Girls Like Girls with Little Baby, and as I said, Pappy's Home. You also get to see the inside of the curtain and the negative impacts of being a celebrity. You get to see a peek inside the curtain of being a celebrity as well, and all the negative effects of it, with the hate that you get, the pressure that you get, and how it affects Drake just in general. So he addresses a lot to the haters, how he's getting a lot of hate, um, he's getting a lot of pressure, a lot of anxiety, and he just talks about what's going on in his mental state and it's really nice to hear from Drake this sort of side from him. You get to hear Drake's different sides and perspective of things and you get to hear Drake from different angles especially and one of the key themes of this album I think, or two of the key themes sorry, is love and hate. He addresses the haters in this album but he also talks about love and heartbreak and previous relationships that haven't worked out and you hear his frustration at these relationships and where he's messed up maybe in these relationships, and especially in these tunes like Pipe Down and also F Fans. As much as I like hearing about love and just previous relationships by Drake in this album, it's a bit too love heavy, but that's just for me, and maybe for someone else and someone else's perspective, they might enjoy that a bit more. Some of the songs do sound a bit similar, or similar to previous Drake tunes, like one of the tunes did sound very similar to One Dance, for example. Vocally and rapping wise, I think Drake killed it throughout the whole album, but just for me, just the sound of Drake's voice, I'm not the biggest fan of his voice. It does sound to me very similar and very monotone, so it can get a bit repetitive over a 21 track list, and maybe just not listening to it all in one maybe would solve that problem. This is also an album where he talks about growth and progression and how he's got from literally the very bottom to where he is now at the top of the game. And it's good to see the progression and the growth of Drake and how he's learned from his mistakes and frustrations and still being able to maintain at the top. You see this especially in the song with Kid Cutty where they talk about they found their purpose and they feel like both of them have found their purpose in this world and what they're meant to do. And also you see that in The Remorse, the outro track, where he talks a lot about his past, his friends, where they've got to him and how all of them to collectively together have had to work hard to get to where they are at the top of the game. A few nitpicks I do have with the album is maybe it is a bit too long, an hour and 26 minutes worth of tracks and some of the songs are about four to five minutes long with Drake's voice can get a bit repetitive and maybe just want them to cut off a bit sooner and earlier. The production on this album is very high quality. Just a nitpick for me would be some of the beats and selected beats do sound a bit similar to previous tunes on the album. But some of the features he has selected to use on this album and collaborate with on this album, I think they fit in well from uh, Future and Young Thug on Way Too Sexy. Um, you've also got uh, 21 Savage, I enjoyed his feature, a Little Dirk, Jivion or Givion, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And overall, Yeba as well, I enjoyed that feature. It's a good interlude and yeah, overall I think the features fitted in well and all the features did kill it. He covered a wide range of topics in this album, it was really enjoyable to listen to 
I'm not even the biggest Drake fan, so I'm going to give this album a 7 out of 10, because I know that Drake can do a bit better than this. Thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. We'd love to hear your opinions of the album in the comments, and subscribe for more music content coming on a regular basis. Cheers guys.